liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Dart on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. NASA's latest mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, launched Tuesday night on course for a September 2022 rendezvous with binary asteroid Didymus and Dimorphos. Once there, DART will hone in and crash itself into Dimorphos, causing a tiny deflection in its orbit around Didymus, which astronomers will be watching for from here on Earth. If this works, it will show us that if some asteroid threatens our safety in the future, we have the capability to deflect it so that it misses Earth instead of hitting us. NASA is calling this a planetary defense move, but it seems more like the plot to Armageddon. I'm joined now by the Weather Network space writer Scott Sutherland to talk about why NASA is crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid. Now, Scott, this seems like it's more than just proof of concept. Can you tell us what NASA is trying to do here? So DART is right now on its way to uh, a rendezvous with, a, with binary asteroids, uh, 800 meter wide Didymos and 170 meter wide Dimorphos. And uh, now this pair is, is not a threat to Earth at all, uh, but they're a good target for a test like this since they periodically pass by us reasonably close, so it's easy to get a spacecraft there. Uh, the next close pass will be in September of next year, 2022, um, and that's when DART will intercept them. And rather just study and, and orbit them, when it arrives, uh, DART is actually going to home in on Dimorphos, the smaller asteroid, and slam into it at top speed, around 24,000 kilometers per hour. And the goal of that is to hit Dimorphos hard enough that the impact uh, slows the asteroid down in its orbit and diverts its orbit around Didymos so that it'll actually end up uh, closer to the larger asteroid at the end. Oh uh, and the reason for this, uh, the, the overall reason for this, is that uh, if we were to find an asteroid in the future that was an actual threat to us, um, this kind of kinetic impactor test or kinetic impactor mission could be what saves us by knocking it off course and preventing a disaster. But there are other ways to modify the path of an asteroid, aren't there? Uh, yeah, uh, they've had a few ideas over the years. Um, there's always the Armageddon standby of using a nuclear weapon to uh, vaporize part of an asteroid or divert and divert the rest of it. Um, there's a neat little idea called a gravity tractor where you can send a spacecraft to fly along with the asteroid and just the, the minute gravitational pull between the two objects, you could then just very slowly divert the asteroid's path by using the spacecraft that way. Uh, and there's even one where you could um, essentially pepper the dark surface of an asteroid with paintballs of, uh, of bright uh, reflective paint and then just let the sun's light pressure on that surface push the asteroid very gradually onto a safer orbit. Now we have about 22 seconds left. I'm going to ask you really quickly. NASA right. is always paying attention to these asteroids. Is there any threat of one hitting us anytime soon? No, uh, we were safe for the next 100 years at least, uh, but out, uh, astronomers are always finding new asteroids and uh, we could find one that is a threat. And if so, then a mission like DART could be what saves us from that threat. Thanks, Scott. Yep. Be sure to visit theweathernetwork.com and head to our Out of This World page. That's where you can read much more about what's happening in the skies above. From our space and science writer, Scott Sutherland.